From Southern California, this is The Circle of Insight, a show about everything in psychology. Hear the latest in news and views on psychology. Our motto is simple. Wherever there is psychology involved, we are there. And now, here's your host of The Circle of Insight, Carlos Vasquez. From wherever you are around the world, welcome and thank you for joining us. Today we're going to be exploring and getting ready for 2015 in fitness. That's right, those New Year's resolutions that we always make every New Year, but we don't follow through. What's going on, people? It's 2015 and this time we're going to have to do it. We have to get serious. If it's not for you, it may at least be for your children or grandchildren. Be healthy for them. Live a long life for them. With us today we have a special guest star. He is Gordon Duffy, 40 years as a personal trainer. He's got a Master's in Fitness Science from ISSA. Let's welcome to the circle. Welcome to the circle, Gordon. Hey, nice to be here. My pleasure. So tell us a little bit more about your background, because I know it was too extensive. It's going to take up the whole show, so I didn't want to focus on that. So what is your background? Well, my background basically I started in 1975 professionally. I was calling on celebrities in their homes. Uh, my best education actually has come from really four or five individuals through history that I've learned from. People like Bill Perrault, who was one of the original famous bodybuilders, guys like Paul Check, who's the posture expert, probably in the world. Uh, Charles Poliquin, who's one of the preeminent strength and conditioning experts on this planet also. Fred Hatfield, Charles Staley. I really followed the people who were experts at what they did and kind of just lived with them, if you will, and just kind of just sucked my life into their life and learned, learned everything they had to teach and then uh, taking it out and feel myself. And you're going to notice that when you hear him talk today. One of the things I wanted to do as well before we get on to the topic of fitness is thank you for your service. I know you were in the military as well. well. Thank you. That was really, we really appreciate that here in America. We thank you very much. Uh, first things first, injuries. This is a big problem. People from any age, really, from 20 or on, have a lot of injuries. Now, you and I want to talk about a little bit about uh, low back injuries. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, low back injuries are very interesting. Um, if you get hit by a car, or you're in a car accident, or you have an impact, obviously those things are unavoidable and you've got back injuries with that. That's a little different way of dealing with things. But ultimately, most of the injuries that I've looked at for the last 40 years, people have bad posture, bad training. So they have these imbalances that come on their, their body and it's almost incestuous in terms of how it happens to them very slowly. For example, head carriage. If your head's too far forward, that's going to start offsetting the building, if you will, of your body. It's going to pull your shoulders forward, round your back, flatten out your lower back. And you've probably seen people yourself walking around. You look at them, they're staring at their feet, particularly as we age. Gravity becomes one of our greatest foes, right? It starts pulling us forward. So you have the tendency to start coming forward. And that's one thing that we need to avoid. Because once that starts to happen, then that's when the injuries start happening. So I get people call me up and say, hey, listen, I was brushing my teeth. All of a sudden my back went out. Or I was making the bed, my back went out. Yeah, yeah, all these kind of things. And most of the time it's caused by forward bending. We call flexion in the business. And flexion- Actually, let me show everybody here that here's a little picture of what that looks like, the forward head posture. And you were saying something about the weight, every inch? Yeah, not to get too technical, but it, uh, your head, basically, uh, believe it or not, it's about 10% of your weight. So for every inch your head is forward, uh, it's another 10 pounds. So the average American is almost four inches too far forward. So now you're carrying 40 additional pounds pulling you forward. So if you think about it, as you start to come forward, the shoulders start coming with it, the back starts rounding up, and what happens is you start flattening out the lower back. And ideally, and we're going to show a model coming out here and a trainer here at Living Fitness uh, who has almost impeccable, perfect posture, um, you really want to have a nice S curve to your back. And the reason why is that it's built like a suspension. So you want to have a nice suspension to the back as you move up and down, as you move in life. So as you start to learn to uh, lose, excuse me, the curvature of your back, you don't have any flat spots in your back. So that way the compression starts hitting those areas. And almost ideally, every time you have a flat spot, you have an issue. And that's what happens. And it comes out of nowhere. And it can happen to anybody at any time. So when I watch a low back, you actually started from the neck. That's right. And you kind of give a new meaning to the big head. But so when people look forward, this can go all the way down to their low back. Right. Wow. So even now, the, the, the biggest issue that we see here, Stephanie and I, we have kids that come in for training. And because of the computer age, looking at their iPads, looking at their iPhones. If you think about everything we're doing today, Everything literally is coming forward. If you put yourself in that position all the time, day in, day out, you know, you're going to start finding yourself coming forward. And so what happens is the, the, the back of your, literally the back of your body becomes longer and weaker and the front becomes shorter and tighter. So essentially, if you don't correct that by lengthening the front, 
and shortening the back through strength training, you're never going to get there. You're going to have an episode. It's just a matter of time. And it happens day in, day out. And it's starting now. I have kids over 11 and 12 years old. I have a 10-year-old kid that came in here had a herniated disc ten? at 10 in his lower back. Jeez. Yeah, and again, don't forget, he's been he's been playing on computers since he's what four years old. So you start multiplying the years out, you know, ten years past that. Now you know he's getting close to that age where things start happening, and he used to happen at twenty nine to thirty two, which is still early, uh, because what happens is you're you're born with pretty good posture for the most part. You know, for those who've had kids, you look at your kid at three to four years old on the beach, they bend down, they pick up a pail, and they basically have perfect posture. And then after about 10, 15 years of learning bad posture by watching their parents or grandparents or their friends, they start developing these patterns and they start bending forward incorrectly, rounding their back. And so it's just a matter of time. And one day, you know, as you get into your late 20s, early 30s, you know, they bend forward, they do something, you know, that they're unexpected. They don't have the core strength to stabilize their bank back and now you got your back coming forward, now you're in trouble. Then you're gonna have what we call an episode or a herniated disc. So this is your first homework assignment. Make sure you're properly lifting things in front of your children. I have a four and a half year old. I gotta keep my eyes open. Hi, welcome to Adelante. This is Adelante Recovery and my name is Yvette Kuglin and I'm part of the staff. Adelante Recovery Center has helped people in dual diagnosis for five years. We accept most PPO insurances and provide luxury accommodations and 24-hour support. To speak with an admissions counselor, call 1-888-242-4450. A lot of time we don't even know what's wrong with us and sometimes we need to get away to figure that out. So if you want to go for a little retreat out in Corona Del Mar, which is a confidential location, we're here to help. So we're only a phone call away. Thank you. Um, so we're going to see Stephanie. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, why don't you come on out and show us? Stephanie is one of the personal trainers here at Living Fitness in Newport Coast, California. Right here. Now, Stephanie has a great background, particularly in dance, and dancers are incredible at posture. They teach this from a very early age. They have them do exercises that perpetuate their, their straightness, their tallness, and all those things. So, if she'd stand right here and just have her stand sideways. So, and one of the things that we teach here at Living Fitness is that, is that, like, this New Year is coming up, and we're going to talk about this in a bit. Uh, just going into the gym and trying to wing it, it's very dangerous for the average person. So it's like going to court without a lawyer or doing surgery on your shop. You really want to have an expert take a look at you and assess before you start any exercise at all what you need to do. And one of the biggest things that, that we're teaching here is that not only are you trying to look good, that you want to reduce any of the imbalances that you have to start off. And you can't look good. I always say you can't look crooked and you don't look good crooked, right? So if, you're, if your idea here is to look good at the end of the year here, at the beginning of the year, you want to make sure that you're straight and you have low body fat and your posture has got to be great in integrity. So, Stephanie, you can take a look here. So if you look at her sideways, you can tell that her head is dead on straight. And so what you do is you, you can line up a string at your house or look in the mirror, have your significant other look at here, even your kids look at you. And you can run a parallel line from your ear to your shoulders to your hips to your ankle bone. And if they all line up, you're pretty straight. So what I do here, we, we run a plumb line right over here. And we're like, let's say, let's say Stephanie was too far forward. I tell her to plant her feet, keep it in one direction. And we would move her back and then put her into the straight position. And I'll tell you, 99 out of 100 people always lean back on their heels and they feel like they're falling backwards. The second thing that will happen if your head comes forward and your posture comes forward, and Stephanie's in excellent shape, obviously, with all the work she's done, um, her shoulders, you know, start to round forward. And she's super athletic, so she's got well-developed shoulders. So what will happen with the head coming forward, this 10-pound bowling ball, right? So the average American, you got 40 pounds coming forward. So what will happen essentially is these shoulders will start to round like this, okay? And then what will happen is back will start rounding back here. And so we call that kyphotic back, rounding back. Um, and then what will happen down here, they'll start losing the curve of the lower back. And what I do, the first thing I'll look at in people's anatomy, I'll look at the head and their lower back. Now women have a little bit of an advantage because of the birth canal. 
the pelvic area is tilted genetically in a certain way to start. So they're typically born with a nice curve, but I've, I've even seen women start to lose that curve too. So one thing women have to be careful in, in the difference of men too, they have less muscle back here in the back of their head, like 40%. So their head is more enabled to come forward at times than men's. So, and they'll get like warning signs, like headaches and TMJ. All those things sometimes happen because they hit. Yeah, I'm to ask you, what kind of problems would occur? Yeah, is? a lot of those. You know, come because the head is just. I mean, it's just such a strain on your body coming forward. And if there's one opponent we know that's been undefeated in history. It's called gravity. Right? <laughs> gravity has never been me, right? So it's something that we're going to have to deal with every day. So what we need to do in this case with everybody else, we try to do what we call posterior postural chain work, or fancy word of just working your back. I did so much growing up, I was the worst. I had a back injury in 2000, well documented. I did too many sit-ups, too many bench presses, and I just developed my whole front side out here. And I was training overseas in Europe and had one of these great coaches from Germany come up and go, Gordon, if you train what you can't see in the mirror, you're gonna be in great shape. Because I did learn at that time. <laughs> and being out here in California, in Southern California, you know, we're aesthetically driven. So the girls are a little smarter than the guys typically in a lot of this. They're more balanced in what they choose to do. Um, guys, you know, we're in here doing our bench presses and our curls and doing our ab work. So what happens in time, we, we continue to come forward and then lean forward. And with guys, since our pelvic area is tilted a little different than the gals, we start flattening that lower back. And if you put your back against the wall and you can't put your hand behind your back, you better get working and you better get yourself a professional trainer because something's going to happen. You cannot survive with a flat lower back. And I see it's pretty rampant up here. Let me ask you a quick question. I know you guys do an assessment before you, you uh, see a client for the first time, both of you, I know that. Yes. What do you guys do the assessment? To figure well, there's a couple things that, that we do here. Um, I particularly have a, a tool, a couple of these tools, which kind of sophisticated here. I won't poke your eye out. <laughs> so this is kind of odd, but it's really important. I kind of, when I first started doing this, I should go into restaurants. And, and it's kind of as a, hey, let me check your head carriage, right? But in all seriousness here, we want to make sure our head is straight. So a lot of times we'll just, just put this in here, get you back here and push. And so normal is 3.0, and she's at 3.0. So that's what you get. Hey, exactly. there you go. There you go. Being a professional dancer, I'm not surprised. We gotta ask Tom for a raise, that's for sure. There you go. Yeah. So I have another tool up here that's called a compass for your back, and I will literally take up too much time actually measure the curvature in your back. Now all this sounds really technical and it takes up a lot of time, but it really doesn't. We can do it here in about 20 to 30 minutes, but it's so important to have a strategy before you start to exercise. I can't just jump in and work out? No, you can't do that. I wish we could. Uh, for those of people out there who have a business, would you start a business without a business strategy? I'm just gonna, I have a great product, I'm just gonna wing it in the market and see what happens. Well, simply it doesn't work, right? So for most of us, and Stephanie's been training people for a long time in all kinds of phases of exercise, I'll tell you, and she has this dance bracket, and they're not just gonna walk on the dance floor and start performing high-end routines, <laughs> right? This is not gonna happen. They have to work up to all these things. So same thing with exercise. The number one thing that I always stress, we have to find out imbalances before you start. That's, that's part of the exercise protocol. You need to fix the imbalances so that you don't build crooked. After that, you wanna make sure your brain is working at a very high level because exercise is not only for your body, it's for your brain. So we wanna pick things that we do here at Living Fitness that cause you to think and move your body in a neurological position. We wanna reduce your inflammation, which is called your body fat. Right? And then we want to make you strong in the different patterns that we do every day, like we've talked about. Let me ask you one more question before you yeah. go on, too. We're back to the same subject. So let's say we don't do this. Yeah. We're working out on our own. Right. We're getting stronger. We're getting more muscles. Can you actually develop something bad in that sense? In other words, you can get stronger with bad posture, making it even worse later on in the future? Yeah, this is an epic <laughs> question I get all the time. And so does Stephanie here is that this is doing something better than nothing. And I said, well, right. for a short period of time, you might get away with it, especially if you have great genetics. I got away with it until I was about 46. Then the dam broke, right? I ended up in a wheelchair from doing in oh, inappropriate yes. exercise. So it was basically handicapped. So the answer to that is no. You need professional <laughs> help, all right? There you go. No. You really do have to have that. And this profession has so many good people that have been taught correctly that you can find. Obviously, we're up here at Newport College. You come in and do a professional assessment and have a real professional take you through 
a workout because there's a lot to do in order to kind of program yourself and how to do this correctly. When do you change your programs? What's the sequence in which you pick? All these things come into play. How do you properly warm up? How do you cool down? What all these things you do? You go into gyms today, and you've seen it. Uh, you go into commercial gyms, and you know people go there for different reasons. But if you're going there simply for your health, you really want to have some professional help. And there's so many things out there with bad choices and bad things that they do. And you know, as I told you, I wrote a book about it, which I'm revising. And some of the things I pointed out, I actually wrote out of frustration, to be honest with you. Is I just got tired of people spending money and not getting the desired results that they needed. We're going to get more information from Gordon and Stephanie in part two of this segment. We only hit the tip of the iceberg. You won't even know what's coming up next. We're going to talk more about fitness myths. What's really true? What's really not true out there in the exercise world? Thank you so much, Gordon. Thank you very much, Stephanie. One more question before we go away. Where are we going to hold of you guys? Where do we find you? While we're here, Stephanie and I at Living Fitness in Newport Coast. The phone number up here, by the way, is 949-640-2300. College command will give you an assessment and teach you the proper ways to get exercise going for you individually. Wonderful. Thank you again, all of you, for joining us. Remember, our motto is simple. Wherever there's psychology involved, even at the gym, we are there. See you next time, everyone.